Question 24. OAB is a triangle. M is the midpoint of OA. N is the midpoint of OB. OM is equal to a bold M, that M there. So the distance uh, going that way from O to M and in that direction, that is the vector M. And N, that is this from O to N. Show that AB, so AB is that, show that it's parallel to that, MN. So show that they are parallel to each other. Right, what we need to do now is we need to work out MN and we need to work out AB. And if AB is a multiple of MN, so whatever MN is, if AB is a multiple of it, then they are parallel because it means that AB is going in the same direction as MN just for further because you can see it's longer. Okay, so we'll work at MN first. So, so from M to N, you've got to go, well, I'll write it down. MN arrow is equal to going backwards down M and then forwards down N. So it's minus M plus N. Okay, so that equals minus M plus N. Now, obviously, I can't write in bold, so I'll underline these. Okay. And now that's the same as N minus M. Okay. It doesn't matter which way around you go. Minus M plus N or N minus M works both the same way. Minus M plus N. If you look at it like this, plus N minus M, you, are, you end up in the same spot. So it doesn't matter which one you do. So now we're going to work out AB and it should be a multiple of these. So AB. So AB, because they're midpoints, if that is M, it means this is also M. And if that is N, it means that is also N as well because they're the same. Okay, so that's N and that's N and that's M and that's M. So it's from A to B is, remember you've got to get from A to B in terms of by using the pathways M and N. So you can see that we're going to go backwards down M, backwards down M, forwards down an N, forwards down an N. So it is minus... 2m plus 2n. So you can see that it is a multiple. So the other way around, put the positive one first, 2n minus 2m. Just to show that it is exactly the same, using this one, you can put equals 2 and then take that as a common factor, n minus m. So n minus m, remember, is what m n is. There's n minus m, and there's two of them, two n minus m. So I'm going to write because a b is a multiple of m n, they must be parallel. And that's that one. It's a fairly, fairly straightforward one for a vector question.